welcome into another episode of Share the Chalk, a basketball webcast designed with the intention to give coaches and players a platform to share their knowledge. As always, I want to start my goal in beginning this webcast is to bring on individuals who I believe are truly adding value and will continue to add value to the basketball community and the coaching community. Today, we're fortunate enough to have an Omaha Metro uh, girls basketball coach on, someone who I've gotten to know a lot over the last few years, someone who uh, we grew up together, playing together, um, competed in college together. Um, and he's since taken over the uh, Bellevue West T-Bird basketball program on the girls' side. We welcome on Dane Bacon. Dane, thanks for joining us. How are you doing today? Hey, Coach Hamburger. I'm good. Excited to be on. You've had a lot of great people on. I'm a big fan of the webcast and excited to get started. I appreciate it. We, I just want to start with your journey up to this point. You know, Just kind of tell us where you've been, uh, where you started, where you've been, and where you're at now. Yeah, I grew up in, in Kearney. Um, got to play basketball at Kearney High School. Um, was able to play in a couple of state tournaments while I was there. Um, and then I went on and got a scholarship at Hastings College. Played there from 2010 to 2013. Um, got to go to a national tournament my freshman year while I was out there. Um, and then I moved into my teaching. Um, I did my student teaching in Lincoln over at Lincoln North Star. While I was doing my student teaching, I ended up being the volunteer varsity assistant for the boys team. Um, and then after that, I got my opportunity to join Bellevue West. I started as the assistant girls varsity uh, coach for four years. And then year five, I took over as the head coach. And I'm, I'm going into my third season as the head coach here at Bellevue West. Just kind of starting with, uh, you know, building culture, building the program, you know, talk about some of the things that you did um, right away when you uh, were promoted from that assistant coaching position into that head coaching position uh, at Bellevue West. What were some of the first steps that you took to kind of ensure that growth in the program? Yeah, you know, the first thing that I did was I went into our youth program and just tried to revamp it a little bit. Um, it's called Bellevue Thunder. My first year, I knew that that was something that I really wanted to get my hands on. Uh, to try to improve, to try to get people excited about Bellevue West and the Bellevue Thunder program again. Uh, my first year, I actually, as the head coach at Bellevue West, I took over as the director for Bellevue Thunder. I coached the eighth grade team, um, and then I oversaw all of the, you know, we had third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh grade, eighth grade teams. Um, I watched all those teams compete, tried to give them skill clinics and opportunities to return. Uh, but, you know, the very, very first thing I did was try to go in and get our hands on our youth and try to get them excited about Bellevue West. Uh, talk about, you know, moving forward. Um, what are some things that you that you do in the summer, um, some things that you're doing now? Um, obviously, we're in you know, some weird times, but, you know, what do the summers look like for your youth program? Um, for the youth program, we offer a couple of skills clinics. Um, I try to keep them involved as much as I possibly can. Uh, we'll do one every couple of months. Um, with our high school stuff, obviously it looks a little bit different, but we were fortunate enough to keep it very, very close to what it looks like normally. You know, our off season's focused on our player development. The biggest thing that we want to do, we want to get bigger, faster, and stronger, and more skilled. Um, so we have a, a Volt program that we use in our weight room that's really, really great. It does a lot of sports-specific lifts and workouts for our basketball players. Um, we can also incorporate our speed and agility stuff. Uh, Volt has a bunch of great opportunities for us to do that. Um, so we'll do probably 30 to 45 minutes in the weight room. Uh, we'll do 30 to 45 minutes with our speed and agility. And then last and maybe most important is we'll go down on the court and we'll work on our basketball skills for hour 15, hour 30, talking about our concepts and our fundamentals and all that kind of stuff. What are some of the main focuses? Um, you know, obviously you played at the collegiate level, um, coach on the boys' side, coach on the girls' side. You know, what are some of the things that you focus on most as a coach when developing skills? You know, shooting, passing, you know, what are some things that you are really focused on with developing in your, in your program? Uh, the biggest thing that we want to focus on is, is shooting, obviously. I think that that's the best skill. Um, at the end of the day, you got to put that ball in the basket. So we spend a lot of time with shooting. Um, but we definitely are going to touch base on everything. We want all of our kids to be pretty much positionless, especially coming up through our youth program, playing in our high school team. Uh, we want you to be able to do as much as possible. We, uh, we want all of our players to be able to dribble, pass, and shoot. Um, and we really gear a lot of our skill stuff towards that, um, as well as trying to teach them you know, some basketball IQ and a certain way to play and doing things the right way. 
Talk a little bit about the transition from assistant coach to head coach. Um, what were some of the challenges that you faced? I mean, a lot of a lot of coaches talk, you know, it's really easy to give suggestions and, and, and make decisions when you're not in that head chair. What were some of the challenges that you faced in your first couple of years with being in that head chair? Uh, yeah, I think the biggest thing uh, was probably for our players. Um, I kind of understood right away that it was going to look different. Uh, just because as the assistant coach, I was really here to help you try to meet that expectation that the head coach set. Um, tried to do whatever I could to get you what to where the head coach needed you so you could play. Um, and I think the big difference um, when I made my transition is I had really, really good connections and relationships with our players. Um, and then when it changed from me helping you try to meet the expectation to now I'm setting it, um, I think there was a little bit of adjustment period. Uh, but the kids knew that everything comes from a really good place. We want the best for our players. And I think when they understood that, they respected that I was in a new role, new position. And it, it, it really it really ended up being okay at the end of the day. Talk a little bit, uh, Coach Bacon, talk a little bit about um, your coaching style and what what I can expect from you if I'm, a, if I'm an incoming girl who's going to play for Bellevue West uh, girls basketball. You know, my biggest focus um, is I want to help your development. Um, I want to help your development as a basketball player. I want to help your development as a person. Um, and I know I talked about it a little bit earlier, but, you know, for our players, the way that we're focused to try to get them to improve, you know, we want you to be able to do something today you couldn't do yesterday. We want you to be able to do something tomorrow that you can't do today. Um, and at the end of the day, I'm here to serve you, to try to help you get to the next level, um, become a better basketball player, become a better person. Um, and, you know, and I, and I love doing that for, for young players. Where, where do you see um, Bellevue West uh, girls basketball headed from here? You know, what are, what are kind of your, your thoughts and your, uh, your aspirations for where you see this program headed in the future? Uh, we want to, we really, really want to take the next step. Um, you know, this Bellevue West, when I first started and I was an assistant, you know, we were almost synonymous with being at the state tournament and competing for a state championship. Um, and the past couple of years, that's dipped a little bit. Um, and we've kind of dropped down to a team that's right around 500. Um, our goal is just to, to continue to develop. Um, we have to be focused every single day that we come in the gym to try to be able to do something today that I couldn't do yesterday. We need to be able to do something tomorrow we can't do today. Um, but we're just really, really trying to strive with our everyday type of culture and attitude and effort that we come in and, and we're focused to improve ourselves um, first and foremost. And then we think that if we can help our kids improve themselves, um, that they're going to understand that that's going to help the team and, and that's going to be the biggest thing. Well, I know here moving forward, you will, we're, I definitely have a lot of faith in what you're doing there. I, I, I've known you for a long time. I know you're uh, you're going to get that program headed in the right direction, and there's no doubt in my mind that we'll see you guys at the state tournament here moving forward. Um, you know, thanks a lot for joining us. I really appreciate you taking the time, and and uh, I think this uh, this is going to give a lot of people a lot of things to think about moving forward with their programs, and they can definitely learn something from this. So thanks a lot for taking the time. I appreciate it. Yep. Thanks for having me. Had a lot of fun.